Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and oh my gosh, last night's episode of The Masked Singer, there are so many things we need to talk about. Between who was revealed, the clues, the performances, it was definitely, as they call it, a game changer. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So last night was the last night that, if you, last night was last night, that Niecy Nash was the host of The Masked Singer. As you know, next week, April 14th, Nick Cannon is officially back hosting the show. And I have to say, Niecy, I know you probably don't watch these videos, but man, you did such a great job. I hope that the, I hope they bring you back in some capacity, whether for The Masked Singer, The Masked Dancer, or another masked show. You did such a great job. You were so entertaining. I love the way that you would always call out Ken and just be really, really goofy with him because let's be honest, Ken sometimes needs to be put in his place. I mean, he kept on calling her mother during the show. <laughs> I mean, come on, that was great. But last night was the Group B Finals. We got to see the Piglet, the Crab, the Chameleon, and the Black Swan take on a brand new wild card, which we don't have a photo for, but it was the Bulldog. And before we get into who was revealed last night, the crab had a crazy situation where after he got done performing, he was so out of it that he actually left the stage and that left us with a really, really cool behind the scenes thing. You got to see what their dressing room is kind of like, you know, once they get backstage, it's just black curtains and to make sure they don't really reveal who's under the mask before it actually happens, all they have instead of a nameplate is a photo of the character. So it just kind of shows you how they really go out of their way to keep everyone secret on this show. Now the episode went on and we were, we were revealed with the new wild card and the Bulldog definitely had an interesting performance but the game changer of the night was Nisi saying, forget the voting. The voting doesn't count for this episode. I am going to reveal who's under the mask of someone. And then called out, that's right, the wild card. And it was revealed to be Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again. Because if you joined us during our live stream, I talked about something. And I mean, I'm going to save it for the end of this video, because I think we should go through the recap first, but Nick Cannon. He's back, folks. He's back, and he's healthy, and yeah, we'll talk about it just a little bit later. Now, he was revealed, and I really don't have a card for him, but we'll put the golden X on here, just to say that he's gone. I'll probably make a wild card just so that we have it, but I haven't even seen the show send one out yet, and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning the next day, so I don't know what's going on with that, but anyway. Let's go through the brand new clues and the pitch correct audio. We'll do the clues first and then we'll do the pitch correct audio after. And then after that, we'll talk about Nick Cannon being back. So we're gonna start off with the Black Swan who I think, now keep in mind that next week is the group A finals. And after that is the two hour long uh, super eight where two people get revealed. I think that right now looking at this group, you got some talented people here. I definitely don't think the Chameleon's going to make it because that's who I thought was going to reveal. The Black Swan is making it to the top three, definitely. I don't know about the Crab. Um, the Piglet probably might make it as well. But anyway, let's continue on. Now it's Black Swan. If you're like me, you have everything typed up, ready to go. With every performance, I'm starting to shake off my nerves. It's like this mask is bringing out all the confidence that's been trapped inside. All these things bring me back to my very beginnings. Literally, look, when I started my career, I worried about my appearance and would be perceived. So I sent out audition tapes with no face to be judged on my talents only. So when people finally saw me, I was right. I wasn't what they were expecting, but that experience made me hesitant to put myself out there again. But recently I had a major milestone and realized it was time to take a leap of faith. So I dove head first and now I'm learning life isn't about how others perceive me, but always staying true to myself. Visual clues included uh, three tents, like a judging competition. We saw a black cat. We saw leaves, which was really funny because if we know who this is, leaves, she was leaving, leaves, yeah, anyway. 
We saw Montana, parts that spelled out spot, a purple dinosaur, and then last night's big thing was that the men in black went into these, these mask costumes houses and pulled out an item, and for her it was a unicorn, it looked like a golden unicorn kind of thing. Anyway, comment below who you think it is. Now it's time for the piglet, who I, was a lot of fun last night, right? This experience has been the most unexpected jolt after a static year. And all it took was putting on a pig costume. You know, years ago, I was really getting grilled. It was a difficult time, but then dot, 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 someone unexpected appeared and turned my life around. She rescued me from the heat and gave me a brand new start. And because of her, now I'm a family man, which has brought a whole new purpose in my life. I finally found someone that I want to grow all together with and may be the best gift of all. Visual clues included dog tags, which was his, his thing, which had two dog tags and a P on there, which he said for pig, which really don't believe that. So find a celebrity that actually wears them all the time. A jail cell, sort of like a door. We saw LA that you get in Hawaii. We saw a genie in a bottle, a black spider, corn, and palm tree. So comment who you think that is below. Now it's time for the crab. I love you, crab. Your costume is amazing. The clue package was so much fun. Being on stage for the first time was rough, both physically, because it was hard to breathe, and emotionally. There's a purity to performing on this show that reminds me of being a child. Though I got into sorts of trouble, <laughs> My mom tried to keep me on the straight and narrow path. She made me sit in the kitchen while she was preparing food every night, and I hated it at first. But then I realized she wasn't trying to teach me how to cook. She was teaching me the value of family and hard work, which started out as a punishment that turned into a passion. And now my kitchen is the heart and soul of the family. Visual clues included a bowler hat, Sammy Davis Jr. I think it's great that every costume we have Someone always makes a connection to either someone from the Rat Pack, so Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr. So now we need someone with a connection to Dean Martin. That would be great right there. We saw a Blue House, Mac and Cheese, Big Ben, and Ribs. Comment below who you think it is. Now it's time for the Chameleon, who we did a reveal video for already. If you want to go back to last Friday's episode, we revealed who's under the mask of the Chameleon. And then another thing I want to tell you is that if you go to the Community tab, of YouTube, which if you go to my main screen, you go to the top, it has different tabs, go in the community, you can vote on who you want me to reveal tomorrow, aka Friday the 9th, and so, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's continue on. It felt so good impressing the panel with my smooth flow last time, but there's one person I want to impress more than anyone, my little chameleon. When I was a kid, I fell in love with another cool reptile, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And now I've dedicated myself to being a superhero ninja for the little one. So someone who obviously has a kid. I decided to party less and practice martial arts. Eventually, I reprogrammed my mind, body, and soul. Martial arts taught me how to process my emotions. And now I teach my little cham. It's cool to express feelings. I'm here to surprise my little wizard as a superhero chameleon. And one day, I know he'll be a superhero too. Visual clues included, well, his... Clue from the Men in Black was Hot Wings. We saw a child, he has a kid, a Slippery Road sign, which is a really, 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 really good clue. We saw four clocks with 346 on them and a black rocket. Anyway, those are all the clues. Now it's time for the Pitch Correct audio. I'm gonna play a little bit of their audio and then our audio. Here you go. This is to commemorate one of my best friends, an incredible singer who passed away, who's no longer with us. This is to commemorate one of my best friends, an incredible singer who passed away, who's no longer with us. This friend really taught me how to be myself. She really was one of a kind, and this is one of my most treasured mm -hmm. possessions. Well, if anybody knows me, they know I'm always cooking something in the kitchen. Well, if anybody knows me, they know I'm always cooking something in the kitchen. These dog tags represent the most important thing. These dog tags represent the most important thing in my life. I always have them with me. And a third item. It's no, a pig's it's foot. I'm, I'm kidding. It's the letter P. Well, the greatest entertainer, Sammy Davis Jr., used to wear it when he did Bojangles. Well, the greatest entertainer, Sammy Davis Jr., 
used to wear it when he did Bojangles. And I admire him so much that I wore it as much as I possibly could. So comment below who you think they are. And now we're gonna jump away from the format just for a minute here to talk about the whole Nick Cannon situation. You see, in yesterday's live stream, we all discussed that you guys kept on thinking that the clue would do was Nick, or you guys kept on saying, and you guys were right, you kept on saying, the wild card is probably going to be Nick, and it would be like an introduction to the show. And as I said before, I would be really upset by that because at the end of the day, he's taking someone who could have been on the show, someone we could have guessed, someone could have went through the clues and put him on. And I'm like, you know, that would, would that mean that he faked COVID and that would really make me angry and really upset. And at the end of the day, Nick truly did have COVID. Everything online was 100% true. Nick had COVID and thank God he recovered. You know, when the clue package first started and I was doing the pitch correct audio, I mean, you're talking about a good 15 minutes before the reveal. I knew right then and there, I was like, this is Nick Cannon. The voice had matched up perfectly to Nick that I literally was like, at first I was kind of upset because I was like, what? That was like a waste for an episode. Why would they waste a character just to introduce Nick back? But the second that I watched him perform, it put a big smile on my face because A, Nick Cannon's back. B, he's healthy. And C, we're just finally getting back to the original format, the way that things used to be. And so while a lot of you guys sent me messages and I even put a poll up asking you guys if you thought it was a waste, if it made you angry, so on and so forth, and a lot of you guys did say it did, um, I think looking at it, we had another episode full of brand new clues with brand new performances, a lot of crazy things that had happened, you know, the crab kind of getting, having to get off stage. Thank God he didn't do a gremlin and take off his mask. Talking to you, Mickey Rourke over there. But at the end of the day, it really was a fun episode and it was a really great way for Nick to come out and be like, hey guys, I'm back. And I think the best part of it all is that he thanked Nisi in front of everyone. I'm pretty sure she knew that he was under the mask and you can you can judge like, oh no, like, oh, well, this was rigged and blah, blah, blah. It was really nice. I don't think she had any idea that Nick was gonna say that there was really nice things about her. And it just shows you the kind of person Nick is. And I know one thing I was thinking about is dancing, not dancing with the stars. It was uh, America's Got Talent, whatever those other shows are where he was the host of and came on stage as a clown. And um, a lot of you guys kept on saying, as soon as we started hearing it, I was like, oh my God, Nick's doing the same thing over again. And he did. So while, while some of you guys may feel a little upset, and feel like you wasted time. I promise you, it really wasn't. I mean, you go through these clues. We've really, we truly know every single person under these masks. And, you know, if it wasn't for another week of clues, maybe you wouldn't have known that. So anyway, I love last night's episode. I think we had a good time together. And I thank you guys for joining me. Don't worry, I'm still making videos. <laughs> I think I would have been upset if it was like, say, on the Nick thing, I would have been upset if it was one of these characters and he was competing from day one because that meant that he was faking it. Uh, but I mean, being that he only came on the show and this took place, it means that he was better. And the one thing I'm also realizing is I believe they filmed episode five back to back with episode six. So it kind of makes sense that he would be back on the show. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me and make sure you jump on the community tab and vote for who you want me to reveal tomorrow. We currently have in group B, the crab, the piglet, and the black swan. And just because, why not? Do you want me to also add on the orca, the robo pine, and the Russian dolls? Let me know. He's just gonna go over there and vote. Anyway, thank you for joining me if you haven't done so yet. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end of the video, you know I like to leave you with a question to answer in the comment section. I just wanna know, spring is finally here. The weather is finally getting better. COVID is starting to finally subside. My question is for you. What's the first thing you wanna do? Now that everything's getting nicer out, is there a certain place you want to go and hang out? Is there something I can Google? I just kind of like checking out cool places. Anyway, comment below. I'm Joey. Stay safe, everyone. See you later. Bye.